Hello everyone, welcome to Scalia.com. I'm Dr. Hina Khan and today the topic of our lecture is the uh, deaths due to starvation. So when we talk about this kind of deaths, we are basically uh, dealing with or we are basically dealing with the modes of death in which the deaths due to starvation are usually coupled with uh, neglect as well as with the hypothermic kind of deaths as well. So we'd be dealing with these uh, synonymous terms and on the other hand uh, we can also term it as a phenomena in which it is usually a coupling factor uh, seen in these kind of deaths. So dealing with these kind of deaths and how do you investigate and how do you perform uh, autopsies in such kind of deaths is very significant and we'd be discussing all of that over here in this particular lecture. First of all, defining starvation is very important. So again, it's very important uh, to note down these factors that starvation usually always doesn't result in the fatality of the individuals. So what would be the factors uh, that is basically going to define the key phenomena and how are you going to deal with such cases that is going to be discussed over here in this particular lecture. We're also going to highlight the different types of uh, starvational deaths, particularly the acute phases of starvational deaths. And then we have the chronic cases of starvational deaths uh, that we're going to discuss. The clinical significances would also be discussed in detail over here in this particular lecture. Moving on, we'd be discussing the uh, different risk factors as well as the different uh, causative factors towards the development of these uh, starvational modes of death, particularly famine, trapped in pits and mines, or particular psychological phenomena can even uh, lead to these starvational modes of death. We'd be dealing with the Fatal periods. So knowing the fatal periods of any modes of death is uh, quite critical and one should know that what are the uh, particular kind of uh, fatal periods that we usually deal in with these uh, particular kind of cases. The factors affecting the fatal periods uh, predominantly, we have the age, we have the sex of the individual, the conditions of the body, the environmental conditions, particularly the temperature as well as the physical exertion play a pivotal role in the fatality of the individual. Defining emaciation is one of the crucial factors over here in deaths uh, relating to starvational deaths or relating to the uh, deaths due to uh, neglect on part of the adults or uh, the environmental conditions. We'd be dealing with the types. Uh, we have the wet type and on the other hand, we have the dry type. What are the clinical findings? How do you clinically diagnose uh, the cases of emaciations and the types of emaciations uh, that we'd be dealing uh, in with? What are the key features uh, over here? Particularly ascites is one of the key features specifically. So we'd be talking about that uh, over here in this particular lecture. The other features would be including the intercurrent infections, the skin diseases, the nutritional edema and the dehydration particularly uh, over here. Autopsy findings uh, when we are concurrently taking all of the indices of the infant and comparing them with the normal indices. Uh, the external findings, the internal findings as well as uh, considering the medical legal aspects would also be discussed over here. So you can watch this lecture as well as a variety of other lectures on our website by subscribing to it and you can even start your free trial right now. Thank you for watching Scalia.com.